Wikispeed Linwood, Linwood, Washington, United States shop, June 30th, 2016. I'm here with William Newing, Jackson Rudd, John O'Connell, and that, a, a new guy came by. I just forgot his name. Woody. Woody. Yeah. yeah and he, he had it out already. Uh, Dr. Newing, can you walk us through what got done tonight? Yes, uh, absolutely a lot. We finished our version 31 uh, modules completely. Uh, we had actually a huge technical impediment. We did not have these correct bearing sizes until I actually went to Lowe's and got some. Uh, washer, washer, washer size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say bearing. We're yeah, working yeah. on a lot of bearings, um, which I'll get to. We needed the right uh, size for the um, brake held or bolt, but because going through our bin of shame, we didn't have enough, but as you can tell, we needed seven in the middle and then two outside. Yeah, spacers, or, yeah. Right. So, actually, that means two more. So we have complete assembled V31 suspensions going to Chris Wallace in Texas. And then we have a kit of V31 suspension going to Hubert Smith's in yep. Colorado. And they're both half done. So we have two for Chris Wallace yep. and two kitted for Hubert Smith's. Uh, and so we need to kit two more and build two more and these can be shipped. Correct. And we actually finally just pressed uh, the bearings into the bearing holders with the stud. Uh, assembly pressed in correctly with the C-clip. Yeah, so Hubert, I know you asked for unassembled suspension, but we wanted to do that for you. We thought it would help a lot. Yes. Um, uh, it looks like without the... Yep, so here's the bearing pressed in, and here's the circlip clipped in on the race. Um, uh, and then now the next step is, step is to press the hub carrier in, and that's it. Those two are done. So I think uh, John O'Connell and I will probably get those done tonight. Yep. Thank you, sir. Yeah, because there's two. Thank you, doctor. What else is in the current state of this? Uh, this is all of the version 31 front suspension. There are rotors in here, a set of two, brake pad set of two, with the uh, anti-chatter lube, uh, lubricants and whatnot. To seat the brake pads, yeah, yes. to stick them and into then, the uh, brake calipers. The front brake calipers are in here, mm -hmm. They're both left and right. Uh, you also have your all your bolts, all your washers, all your nuts, uh, nylon lock nuts, as well as the spherical rod and uh, joints, which are also the Heim joints. Yep, and the U in that case, that's Hubert Smith's. Hubert, these are for you, buddy. Yeah. We'll do a clip when we have it all together, but this is already half. This is both the fronts? Yes, that is both the fronts. And are these Chris Wallace's front or rears? Those are his fronts. Also. Okay, so let that's me pan use. across these quickly. Yeah. Chris, uh, Hubert, when you assemble yours, See how we didn't use all four bolts, bolt holes? That's just fine. Washers on both sides anywhere you have room. Notice there's a washer going through the bushings to hold it in. This is what dampens vibration on the suspension. There's a washer on the back. Spherical rod end bearings, note the orientation. They have a stud. The stud is going into the plate, not into the uh, A-arm. So you can assemble it two ways. This way fits the bushings we've sent you. Again, um, uh, washers on each side you can fit it. Notice for this bolt length we only fit a washer on one side that works just fine with the spherical rod end bearings. Up here, notice washer washer where you can fit it it'll spread the load. Um, do notice as shown before we need to shim the calipers to fit to the correct distance to center the brake rotor while bolting onto your uh, knuckle. The steering arm points forward towards the front edge of your plate yes. for the front. This is where your uh, uh, tie rod will tire. attach yeah. to steer the car. And notice that, that they are labeled because the rotors are directional, uh, front passenger side and front driver side. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Um, all right, Doctor. And we'll, we'll do another clip when we have it all together, but that's some information I already get you excited. Yeah. Dr. Newing? What tip would you have to give Hubert while he's assembling these? Uh, I would first uh, inventory all the pieces that you have just to make sure like they're the correct ones and everything's there. We'll send a manifest because I think I, we've written something up on the whiteboard and backlogged it. Oh wow, we'll I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to send a YouTube video. But man, if you got a manifest going, it's even better. Cool. Uh, your rear assembly, the rear set assembly kit is also coming together really quickly. Um, especially when, you know, uh, the rotors and calipers are just probably needed to be added to the bunch. We drilled some holes in for you already for the uh, bushings and uh, we should get you the rest of the pieces uh, 
you know, just about there. Okay, it's close. It's close. Mm -hmm. It's trending. We'll send you a burn down mm -hmm. uh, so we have the actual trend right. uh, yes. shortly. Mm -hmm. Doctor, what would you recommend to someone pressing these uh, yeah. these um, so, hub yeah, carriers in? Just, I, I think um, I think we, we originally we were using this for on, on the bottom, but I think it works better with. With the, with the little piece, it just keeps the flatness um, easier, so it's I think it's a little bit easier to keep it straight. Yep. Um, while you're pressing it in, and also start very slowly so that you're able to keep it perpendicular, so that it actually goes in straight. And even if it's a little bit crooked, you can just uh, just adjust adjust.